Hi, I'm Christina and this is a book review of The Taking of Annie Form by C.J. Tudor and this book has a different title in the US, it's called The Hiding Place. So this was published in 2019, it's her second novel and it's my fourth book by this author. So this is a thriller slash horror and it is very dark, I would say, very, very dark indeed. So when you first start reading the story, it opens onto a scene where a mother has killed herself and has killed her son and she's written on the walls in his blood, not my son. So it starts very dark, very macabre and then the rest of the story is about this man who has moved back to his hometown where he grew up to take a teaching position and he received an email from someone to say I know what happened to your sister, it's happening again. So he's obviously very intrigued by this and he's going back to his hometown when he thought he would never ever return. So what happened to his sister, when she was eight years old, she was taken, she disappeared and then within 48 hours she was back but she was very different from who she was and it felt like she wasn't the same girl anymore so he was absolutely devastated when she went missing obviously but he was even more devastated when she returned and she wasn't who he knew her to be. So that's kind of the premise of this story, we're kind of looking back at the past at the time when his sister disappeared and we're following him now in the present as he is taking a new teaching position he's trying to find out what happened to his sister what is is it happening again and just trying to uncover some truths and he's also battling some of his own kind of demons with money that he's trying to sort himself out so i won't tell you anything else about the plot just let you <laughs> discover all of that for yourself so I have given this one three stars. I think it's a good read, a good, solid thriller horror novel. Now in terms of the other books I have read by her, it's absolutely definitely not my favourite. So I've read four books by her, my favourite being The Burning Girls. That was absolutely wonderful. I gave it five stars and it was one of the best books that I read in 2023, so I'd highly recommend that one. And then in second place, I put The Chalk Man, that was her debut novel and that was the first book that I read by her. Actually only gave that book three stars but in hindsight it was definitely worth four stars. I must have just been being really tight with my ratings back then. I still think about that book to this day and the ending. I still think about that now. This one I'm putting in third place. Three stars. Good, solid book. Enjoyed it. If you haven't read anything by CJ Tudor yet, I would recommend starting with The Burning Girls. I think it's excellent. And then I'd recommend The Chalk Man. If you're already kind of a CJ Tudor fan, definitely think it's worth the read. If you haven't read it, it's, it's a good, solid kind of thriller horror. You know what you're getting with CJ Tudor. You're going to get something that's dark, that's full of twists, that's interesting, a little bit kind of supernatural and yeah, just kind of dark and twisted. She's very good at that. And it was, yeah, it was a really good read. It's definitely going to be a good read if you're looking for something for more kind of like autumn, Halloween, spooky kind of vibes. I think it was very well done. A couple of things I wasn't 100% keen on. Um, some of it felt a little bit far-fetched at time, like a little bit unbelievable. Um, probably what stopped it getting a four star for me. And in terms of some of the ending, I, there was more that I wanted to know. So I had more questions. And in terms of what was going on, I wanted a little bit more. I wanted to explore a little bit further in that sense. Um, so that's what stopped it getting a four star. But I do think it's a very good book. Now, in terms of the fourth book, I didn't mention. Um, I really didn't like the other one. It's called The Drift and it's her newest release. I really, really didn't like it. I only gave it two stars. I wouldn't really recommend reading that one. I It's not kind of the dark thriller horror that she does well. She kind of moved into like a post-apocalyptic fiction genre and I love post-apocalyptic fiction. So I was really hoping for that and it wasn't massively on that. So I didn't like that book. Probably wouldn't recommend it. Um, yeah, definitely recommend The Burning Girls and The Chalk Man, but this is a good one too. If you've read more by her, um, yeah. I think if you've read those two, it's definitely worth giving it a read. It was a good one, it was very dark. There was a lot that I didn't know what was gonna happen. 
there was lots of good twists and I was definitely sitting there for a long time thinking, ooh, like, who's done that? Um, what's going on with that? So that was good. She's very good at writing characters. The main character, the teacher, is called Joe or Mr. Fawn, as he is known when he is teaching. And he he's a good character. She's written him very well. He's a very unlikable main character in the sense that he will say things and he's incredibly sarcastic and a lot of what he says is just wildly <laughs> untrue. So he'll say, like when he's in his job interview, like, I'm really excited, I can't wait to take this job, it's gonna be wonderful. And then he'll just say, it's like the only job I could get in the whole world, kind of, you know, he doesn't say that, but it's those kind of vibes. He'll say something to the character and then underneath you'll get his true thoughts. And it's just kind of comedic in a way. There was dark comedy, obviously. There was a few times with things he said he'd say something and then underneath it would just be what he truly meant when he said that and it was it was really good and in terms of his past and his history he makes up some things you don't quite know what's true what actually happened to Annie what happened in the past all of these different things I don't really know what happened and I kind of think you look at him as a little bit of an unreliable narrator in the sense that he is a very dislikable person He's not always that nice. He does have like the kid's best interests at heart that he teaches and he, he does go out of his way in a way to be a good person at times, but he's also not a nice person and he knows he's not a nice person and you know he's not a nice person. And you, I, I mean, you are meant to be rooting for him in terms of what happened to Annie and what's happening now. You are rooting for this man. He was, you know, sometimes utterly very dislikable actually. And I think it's it's good the way she did that in the sense that you're sitting there going, I don't like him. If I met him, I wouldn't like him. If I worked with him, I probably wouldn't like him. Um, you know, if he was in your life, you probably wouldn't like him. He's got loads of bad, negative character traits. Um, but ultimately, you're really, really rooting for him. So I think she wrote his character really, really well. And yeah, uh, it's a good book. Won't tell you any other kind of spoilers. The ending I was hoping for a little bit more. I just wanted us to go deeper with it, but it kind of, it build, it build well, it build well. <laughs> the story uh, progressed well. It was interesting the way she'd written it and I had questions and theories and it was paced very well. You're kind of going along. It was, it was very easy to read very quickly. I read it just over a couple of days, to be honest. I just flew through this book. It is very, very readable. That is the word I would use. If you're looking for like a fun, fast paced, very easy to read, dark, horror, thriller kind of book, you, you will just keep turning those pages. Very, very readable. So yeah, in terms of the rankings of all the books I've read by her, it will come in third place. If you've not read anything by CJ Tudor, let me recommend The Burning Girls and The Chalk Man. I would say... The Chalk Man is darker, probably one of the most, probably one of the darkest books I've ever read, to be honest. I, I literally do sit and still think about that ending to this day. And when I read it, I had to stop and reread some of the things again because I just could not believe it. And that's the mark of a very good book. And The Burning Girls was excellent too. Um, but yeah, I think The Chalk Man is better than this, to be honest, it is. So her debut novel is definitely better in my opinion, but I still think this one's worth a read. It was a good time, <laughs> even though it was dark and twisted, it was good and I would recommend it. So thank you so much for watching. If you have read this book, I would love to know your thoughts down in the comments below. And if you've read, you know, the US version, The Hiding Place, just so you know, it has a different title. Um, so yeah, if you've read any other of CJ Tudor's books, any of the ones that I haven't read, definitely let me know which one you think I should pick up next. I am intending to read all of her books, I think. That is my plan. <laughs> I would like to read them all. I'd like to read, so The Drift is the newest, which I didn't like, but she also got a short story collection out, I think the previous year, called A Sliver of Darkness. So I think that's the one I'm going to read next. And it's her kind of first short story collection that I'm aware of. So it'll be inter I think she'll be good at writing short stories. I think she's got good ideas, good characters. I think she can probably do them pretty well. So that's the one I'm planning to read next. But if there's another one of her backlists that I haven't read, 
definitely let me know if you think I should read that one. So thank you so much for watching. Please do like the video if you've liked it and please do subscribe if you'd like to hear more of me talking about books. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.